It's kind of crazy how quiet my house is right now. I'm not used to it. It's like the most relieving, peaceful thing ever. Like it just makes me want to... I'm not, not adding that into the video. That's going to sound creepy. Plums with Casey Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Casey and I'm all about spreading plants and positivity. So tonight we will be repotting mainly Hoya. There's a few other things that are in here that we are going to be repotting, but um, we are also just going to be playing Never Have I Ever. I was supposed to do this on a live stream a while back, but I couldn't get the audio to work. Anyway, so here we are. I honestly never thought of I was going to be making this video or not just because of everything that happened with the live stream but um I figured I needed to repot these plants anyway and I have tea here because I'm not much of a drinker so we are going to be drinking the tea instead and it is sleepy time tea so I'm going to bed after this <laughs> okay so we're just gonna jump into it I got tagged for a plant edition and mom edition so I'm just gonna do like a plant question a mom question so forth so um first I need to get this started I guess we'll do this one first this is the Hoya curtsy eye that Jacqueline over at Jacqueline's jungle sent me and I just want to show you guys all of that is new and then there's another one right there right there and look at those roots number one is never have I ever killed a cactus and I have not so I cannot drink it to that one um, I have three cactus total cacti I have three cacti total and one of them I grew from seed and the other two I just don't water. I water them like once a month and they're both still alive. I want to get more cactus and cacti. I want to get more cacti and I'm sure eventually I'm going to end up killing one but I haven't had much experience with them so I have not. I'm so excited to finally get all these potted up because they've all been in the same container and I haven't really been able to like see how they have been doing. So today was the first time that I actually got to take everything out and like actually look at it, which was awesome. And I saw new growth on everything. I guess while I'm doing this, we can go ahead and do another one. So my phone locked. So now we're going to be doing a mom question. And the first one is, Never have I ever dozed off on the toilet. Now this happens to me way more than I'd like to admit. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. There have been periods of times where my son just never wanted to sleep and he still gets that way. I think today he went to bed at 11 o'clock. So yeah, it's happened. I'm sure it wasn't the last time it's going to happen. I don't know what this is doing. I'm gonna need to pin this one down, but that's how that one turned out. Super cute. Okay, so... Never have I ever took a plant cutting that was on the ground of a plant nursery. No, but I have thought about it once, but it was kind of a sketchy situation. No, okay, it wasn't sketchy. My mom accidentally knocked over a plant, and uh, it was like a lucky bamboo, and one of the things fell off, and I was gonna, like, I was thinking about asking them if I could have it, but I don't know why it made me so nervous, so I never ended up asking them. And I don't really know what happened in the situation, so t technically no. So, never have I ever ran an errand to get away. Um, I don't drive, so I've never done that. Well, I mean, there are a few times where we called a babysitter. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna take a drink. It doesn't happen often, but it happened at one point. I wish I could. If I drove, I would probably leave every single day. 
<clears throat> let's uh let's let's repot another plant. We're gonna do this teddy bear vine that Ariel sent me. I will leave her Instagram down below. You should, guys should really go check her out. This thing is doing fantastic. It grew so much. And <clears throat> I don't know if you guys remember the unboxing that I did. It'll be up there. But um she originally sent me two, but one of them broke, and they, they're all growing, they're all doing really well. So I'm super excited to put this one into a pot. Never have I, uh, never have I ever spent more than $100 on one plant. I have not, actually. Um, the most expensive, with, we're talking like without shipping for a single plant, I have spent was 60 that was on my Rockweanum. These are very, very fine roots. They kind of remind me of uh, Wandering Dude roots, which I've been having a hell of a time get, trying to get mine to root. So I'm kind of nervous about putting these ones in dirt. Hopefully they will do fine. Ooh, we're falling. Okay. We're, we're going to answer another question before we do this. Never have I ever been bitten by my kid. Um, not very often, uh, my daughter recently started getting into the biting phase, but as long as you keep your hands away, then you're fine. <laughs> you just have to keep your hands or pretty much anything away from her mouth. That's how this one turned out. They're, they're all gonna need cleaned up, but I think they're turning out pretty good so far. I'll deal with that later. Okay. I feel like I've said no to every single plant question so far. So it's a good thing I didn't do just a plant version because uh, it, it would have been pr probably pretty boring. <sighs> I feel like this video is just going to be boring in general, so it's fine. We'll see. We'll see. So, um, never have I ever bought a plant just because it was trending on Instagram. Um, now... If we're talking strictly for the purpose of it being trendy on Instagram, then no, I have not. But I have found several plants through Instagram that I absolutely fell in love with. And that is why I buy plants. It's because I absolutely love them and not because somebody else has them. So, uh, no, but I'm going to take a drink anyway because this tea is really good. But I'm running out. So now we are going to be doing this one, the Hoya Compacta, which I also got from Ariel, and here are the roots, and this one has new growth at the very, very bottom. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell right here. Little baby, little baby leaves. So, um, I'm kind of running out of nursery pots. Or eventually, all of these are going in terracotta, or at least the Hoya will be. But for now, I am sticking with the nursery pots because that is literally all I have right now, and I barely have any of those. But we are going to make it work. Never have I ever caught puke in my hands. My son has only been sick two or three times. And um, the one night we, he's like, for some reason, like he's really good about knowing to go to the toilet. So he ran back there and he just, didn't quite make it and it was either in my hand or on the carpet so I caught it and I have also caught cat throw up and dog throw up before so I figured I would also include that because why not <laughs> so yes I have caught plenty of throw up in my life and my own Never have I ever met another plant tuber. Um, I have not, 
but I'm really hoping once everything going on kind of dies down and is over, I have so many people I want to meet. Um, I recently found out that there are a few people who live like within a few hours of me that I really want to meet and we are going to meet up and we'll be awkward together. <laughs> but um, I've never officially met anybody. There is someone, I'm not going to mention any names, but uh, someone messaged me on Instagram the other week, the other day. I'm not 100% sure right now, but uh, they told me that they were looking for houses in Pittsburgh, which is super exciting and kind of crazy because um, this is someone that I've watched on YouTube uh, since the beginning for her and the fact that she is going to be living that close to me. I mean, right now she only lives like two hours away, but that's, that's crazy. And I'm so excited and I hope all goes well for her. And even if she doesn't move to Pittsburgh, then that is also fine. <laughs> but hopefully, either way, I'm going to meet her. Hopefully soon. Never have I ever googled my kids' symptoms. My hands are getting more dirty as we go. So I found out my daughter has eczema. She has, well, we don't know if it's necessarily psoriasis or eczema. I want to say it's psoriasis, but uh, the doctor, uh, for, I mean, the last time we saw her, she said it was just really bad eczema. But, um, I mean, hey, Google was right. <laughs> so Googling the symptoms, I guess, worked. I mean, if there if something major was going on, we'd obviously go to the hospital. But, um, or something like eczema, we just, we Googled it. Never have I ever neglected a plant or purposely killed it. My good old, uh, Thanksgiving cactus. I think I've told that story quite a few times on my channel, but um, it was my first interaction with pests, and I was not a fan, so that thing just went outside. And uh, I guess you can kind of say my Billy Ray Cyrus fern. Um, now I unpurposefully, purposely le left it outside. I was thinking about leaving it outside because. Uh, we had one nice day where I took all my plants outside and then after that I had to bring them all back in because it was really cucky outside. But um, I kept telling myself, well maybe I should just leave my fern out here to see what it does. If it dies, it dies. And then I was like, no, I'll bring it inside. And then I completely forgot to bring it inside. So I guess you can include that one also. <laughs> I missed a question. It was like a few questions ago. Um, so I'm going to answer two mom ones fastly right now, and the one that I missed was never have I ever bitten my kid's nails. I haven't used nail clippers since they were newborns. They don't like it, they scream, it's easier to bite them. <laughs> and never have I ever bribed my child. <laughs> Judge me. <laughs> Okay, so we'll do this one first because it's kind of sinking and I don't want that to happen. Oh, they're all over the place. Okay, goes back in there for now. Okay, so this is the DS70, the Hoya DS70. There's another name for it, but I can never remember it. But, um, yeah, we are going to be putting this into a two inch pot. There's been no new growth on it, but I mean, look at those roots. Those are beautiful. So they're going to be going into a two inch pot. I can find them. Found them. So we're gonna do this. Then we're gonna wet it a little bit. 
We're gonna answer another question. Never have I ever driven over an hour to get to a plant shop. I have. As far as right now in the, um, I mean, I guess not even right now. It, they, they would probably all be open right now. But, um, the before whenever I used to go plant shopping, which feels like forever ago. Am, am I the only one that thinks like that? Because I feel like it's been so long since I went plant shopping. Anyway, they, um, in my location... I would have to drive, well not me, whoever was driving me. It would usually take about 45 to 50 minutes, close to an hour, to get to uh, any of what I would consider the good nurseries around here. Um, unless I'm missing one that I just haven't seen yet, which hopefully, hopefully soon I can go out and venture and discover new places. But until then, I will, I don't know. I kind of am taking a break from plant shopping, at least online plant shopping, because I've been getting myself in, <sighs> see, I don't know. I think after I got the Barack Rhiannum, I just, I can't think of a single plant that I want, except there are a few, like I really want a Philodendron Gloriosum and a philodendron uh, Jose Bueno, but I don't want to really pay that price for a plant again since my last one was kind of expensive. And um, at least for the Jose Bueno, then that would be more expensive, even though I do really want that plant. It will wait. One day. One day. So this is the uh, Adnasaniae narrow form that Amber from Insanical Botanical sent me. And I am finally potting it up. I think its roots are long enough. So we are just going to pop it into the soil. Um, I almost forgot we were playing the game, I'm not gonna lie. This is a good one. Never have I ever whisper screamed. every single day. Um, especially with two of them, it's usually yelling at Layla whenever Anthony is trying to sleep on the couch. Uh, for the longest time, my son was not a napper, and my daughter was, and now that my daughter is in a big girl bed, she is not a napper, but my son is. But also, the problem with that is that if my son naps, then he goes to bed at midnight. So it's a lose-lose situation. <laughs> but it's fine. We're managing. This one looks super cute. I really, 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 really like how this one turned out. Now all we need to do is get a little, little stripper pole when she's ready to go. So we got one, no we don't, we have two more plants. So uh, this is the Mona Lisa lipstick plant that Ariel sent me. Super good condition, it is rooting. Again, these roots kind of make me nervous because they're more fine and I don't really seem to do well with finer roots, but I'm determined. So we are just going to use one of these pots that I got at the dollar store last year. Now do that and then we're going to put the little drainage thing in there and then we're going to take her and whoop. Okay. I'm slacking on the questions. Never have I ever killed a rare plant. No, I have not. I've just recently, like, I've just recently got into more rare plants and I'm petrified I'm going to kill them. But so far, so good. Hopefully I never do. But there is a first time for everything. So, uh, I'll keep you updated on that one.
Now I heard something pop and I'm afraid that that was like the biggest root system that we had going on in there, so hopefully that was not the case. Um, I guess we'll find out. There was more roots on it than just that one. But uh, I don't know, lipstick plant, especially cuttings, scare me because I can't get the Grisalis lipstick plant to root for me for the life of me, it seems like. But I have it in the greenhouse. I still need to send it out to Julia. Um, I was originally supposed to send it out with everything else that I sent her. That was the main plant that we were supposed to swap, but uh, it didn't really work out. So. I'm gonna take its nice time to get a nice drink and transition into the world of soil. I really want to try Lekka. I know I always say that and I haven't tried it yet, but I really want to try it. I don't like soil. And aren't there accounts that have like a, like all Lekka, like they don't even use soil? If you know of any of those kind of Instagram or YouTube channel, sort of something where they use only Lekka, please let me know in the comments down below because I'd love to check it out and research it. Um, we are down to our final plant which is a uh, Hoya Crimson Princess. So this is what we are going to be repotting up next. There is the root system. And I honestly, I lost track of where my questions are. Never have I ever deleted mean or inappropriate comments from YouTube. <sighs> Me, myself, personally, I've only ever deleted two. Um, both about my parenting, in case anybody was curious. If there is one thing I have learned, it is that people do not joke around about uh, giving their opinions to moms who don't ask for it. But um, those comments, honestly, they don't really bother me. Because, I mean, I know I'm a good mom and I know I'm doing the absolute best and hardest that I can at raising them and they are proving to me daily that I am doing the right thing and that I am teaching them the right lessons because these are the sweetest, kind-hearted kids. My son and my daughter for that matter, both of them, anytime we go anywhere, they are always the children who are introducing themselves. and. My son will go up to them, if you are friends with me on Snapchat or Instagram, I, sometimes in my story I'll post the same on Instagram and Snapchat, but um, my son has this famous line that he uses every time he's in front of a camera, and he'll go, hi guys, my name's Buggy, and that is because the first video I ever filmed, I filmed whenever they were awake, so... I filmed my intro for that video at least 30 times, so whenever I did that, my children were awake, and my son was just very into it, and you saw that he was the first thing that you saw on my first video on my channel. And ever since then, he's been a social butterfly, he'll introduce himself. He'll literally be like, hi guys, I'm Buggy, and this is Mommy, and Daddy, and Michi, and if you're new here, those are not my children's names. My children's names are Anthony and Layla. Their nicknames are Buggy and Meech, and that is what they call each other. That is what we call them, unless they're in trouble, and I don't, I don't know, they're, they're Buggy and Meech. It just, it's stuck. Trying to teach them that their names are Anthony and Layla right now are pretty difficult. So we have been um, working on not using their nicknames as often. But um, another thing is they know whenever we are calling them by their name that they're in trouble. But now that they think anytime we use their name that they're just in trouble when they're not and they'll apologize. <laughs> we have to explain to them that they're not in trouble. We're just trying to get them to learn their name. Okay, 
Okay, so my table is a mess. There's plants all over the place. I want to make sure that they are all fully watered. This one I need to find a pin for. So I am back and I have some pins to put in the curtsy eye to kind of keep it in the soil so it can root. I've done this to my string of hearts in the past and it has worked like a charm, but I've also done it to my Zingonium White Butterfly and that caused me to have to propagate it, the entire thing. But those, they rooted beautifully and I have been giving them to people. So, and also fun fact, because I know there are a few of you that watch my videos that I've sent a Syngonium to. Those Syngonium cuttings that I sent you were of the first house plant ever in my collection. So now you have a little piece of my first obsession in your home. <laughs> so, now I'm just going to show you the plants that we have just repotted one last time and then we're going to put them in the greenhouse. So this is the Hoya Curtsii with the new growth right there, Hoya Compacta, the S70, or Oblivgata, that's wrong, that's really wrong, we're going with the S70. Oh, my cat scared me, my cat's on the counters here, I'll show you, I'll show you where this cat likes to lay and scare the crap out of me. Now this is ridiculous. Pippin! What you doing? Real quickly, so we have the curtsy eye, compacta, adnasanii, narrow form, DS70, princess. lipstick plant and a teddy bear vine which this one might need a little bit more water okay so now I'm just going to go set the camera up over there and we're gonna be putting everything into the greenhouse I really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video I don't know if you found it interesting or boring I know I should have made the Never Have I Ever back whenever it was still like super trendy and popular, but I don't know. I had to repot some plants. I don't know if I'm even going to actually post this video because I just don't find it that entertaining. My cat is trying to come down and there is a bunch of plants in his way. So if you really enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You can comment down below. If You can subscribe if you haven't already, and you can also hit that notification bell so you get a notification every single time I upload. And that is it for today's video. I will see you guys at the end of the week. Bye, guys. <laughs>
Actually, no, we're gonna water this and then answer another question.